Okay, so this is problem 2.4.18, and I've written it out because it's too small on the printout. They essentially want us to find the number of elements in A, B, and C given this list of information right here. Okay, so um, they're telling us that the intersection, the number of elements in A intersect B is 10. The number of elements in A intersect B intersect C is 5. The number of elements in B intersect C is 9. Number of elements in B minus A, 7. Number of elements in B union C is 28. A intersect C is 11. And then the union of all three is 32. Okay. All right, so whenever you're doing, uh, I really can't get all of that on this. There, kind of. Um, whenever you're doing something like this, you always need to start with the intersection of all three sets if it's given to you, and that's given to us right here. So that is the element five, or uh, number five. So we're gonna put five right there. That's the intersection of, this is C right here. That's um, the intersection of all three. Okay, and then we can move on and we can take a look at this one right here. The number of elements in A intersect B is going to be 10. So A intersect B is these two regions right here. It's these two regions right here. It's this region and this region. So if I know that these two have to add to be 10, then I've already got 5 in that region, then this region right here has to be 5 also. Okay, so we've used that piece. All right, I can next use this piece. Number of elements in B intersect C is 9, so the same reasoning. These two regions right here are B intersect C. And I've already got 5, so that means this region right here must be 4. Okay, <clears throat> and then I'm going to jump down to A intersect C. Got to have 11 elements and, or excuse me, cardinal number of 11. Yeah, 11 elements, and um, we already have 5 here, so we're going to have 6 here, okay? All right, now, if you take a look at what's left, you either have number of elements in B minus A, the union of B and C, or the union of all three, and you can't use either of the unions yet because you don't have enough numbers on here, so you have to go up and use this one next. And we have to think about what it means to have B minus A. Whenever you're doing a subtraction and you're talking about sets, um, what you're doing is you're taking, you're thinking about the set minus all of the elements from that set right there that you're subtracting off. So if I think about the set B and I subtract all of the elements that A and B would share in common, those are going to have seven elements. Okay, so here are the elements that A and B share in common. That means that these two regions have to have seven, a total of seven. So since I have four here, then I would need to have three here. Okay, and that's because if I subtract these off, then I would be left with seven. All right. And then we can now use this one. The union of B and C is 28. And um, the only region that we don't have accounted for is this one right here. So if you add these all up, we've got 10, 23, accounted for, there's 28 total in the union, which means there has to be five elements in that region. Okay, And then the last one here um, that we can use is this one right here. The union of all of them should be 32. Right now we're looking at 28 elements, and so that means this region here uh, must have four, uh, cardinal number of four. Okay. All right, so to go back and an answer the original question, the number of elements in A is going to be, if we just add this up, we've got 4, 6, 5, and 5. That's going to be 20. And the number of elements in B is uh, 10 and then uh, 7, so 17. And the number of elements in C, um, cardinal number here, is we have again 10 and 10, so 20. Okay, so there's the answer on this one.